Hey everybody, Insurance Nick here from Laidman Insurance Agency. And I just wanted to uh, share a little bit about what uh, my brother and I saw the last couple of days. Um, some of you may may not know, on Thursday, uh, we left at 4.30 a.m. We drove straight down to Florida. We picked up my father and we drove him all the way back. Uh, we took a about a six hour break in between there. Uh, within a 48 hour window, we made it all the way to Florida in about the middle of the state and made it all the way back to Michigan. Uh, and we drove, uh, we got in around 5 a.m. I think on, uh, on Saturday morning. So um, needless to say, some of the things that we experienced on the road was a little different. And I think I wanted to share that information with everybody. But first and foremost, I took a picture of all these guys. This was just, uh, I don't know, it was one time that we were on the road and I was in the passenger seat. And I thought, you know, after John and I were sitting there talking, there were so many trucks on the road. And uh, you just thank those guys. I mean, when we left in the morning, every truck stop and every uh, rest stop that was along the side with these guys were, were sitting there resting up so they can continue the rest of their run. And if you've got a driver in your family, thank them. I mean, just from our family to, to them, thank you guys. You guys are doing a great job and uh, I really applaud you. But uh, ultimately, I just wanted to share some of the experiences that we did uh, find going from point A to point B and then back. Uh, you know, so uh, I think the best experience I think I had at this point was how Chick-fil-A handled the, the uh, containment, quality assurance, the quarantine portion of delivery of their food and being able to get back on the road. Uh, they did an incredible job. I even posted about it because it was uh, it was mind blowing if you kind of take yourself away from this for a second and think this is just happening here in Michigan. It's not. It's absolutely everywhere. We drove through six states uh, by the time we got down there and back, and uh, everybody is taking measures and taking this pretty serious. Um, but if you didn't see my post, if you uh, if you're a foodie, uh, uh, somebody that owns a food business, and you're trying to figure out how to keep the quality assurance in, uh, keep your employees protected, and at the same token, making sure that uh, people have a great experience, then they are the people to model after. Um, we pulled up; they had somebody actually physically take your order from outside your window, um, and then. They had another stop that, you know, actually you swiped your card through their card reader. So they didn't have to uh, take your card and give it back and the same token, you know, contaminate the worker or even contaminate you. But they didn't make you feel like, uh, stay back, uh, you know, get away from my personal space. It wasn't that way at all. And in fact, they actually engaged uh, the social interaction and uh, the young lady was very pleasant that took our order. The, the next step when we paid, they were very nice. And then in addition to that, they had somebody actually hand deliver everything uh, from the window to the car. They just pulled everybody away from the uh, the window and uh, ran the lane on the outside shoulder of their uh, area. And then they had it hand delivered through the window. And I think the way that they did that was excellent because they kept the quality control in-house for where they prepare the food. And then making sure that the customer experience wasn't sacrificed while they were obviously serving their food. Um, so again, if that's a tip and something you didn't think about doing and it might help your business, then try to figure out how to adopt that same measure in place. Uh, because again, it was a very good experience for our uh, standpoint. And we just think that uh, people need to model after what others are doing, you know, because we're not alone. Every person from uh, from each one of these states around the world in that matter is actually going through something like this. But uh, again, I wanted to hop on and I really, truly wanted to thank truck drivers. I mean, if, again, those guys are uh, impeccable and so critically important to uh, every one of us right now here in the U.S. Uh, just getting goods and stock from point A to point B so we can actually have it at our homes and uh, be protected. So uh, again, uh, you know, I'd be safe, you know, take measures, take this serious. Uh, we saw things that were posted where uh, there were signs on stores that said, if you feel sick, don't come in, call this number. And one of our customer, you know, customer representatives will actually shop for you and bring it to you. Um, they were actually truly taking measures and taking it uh, very serious. Each state had a different executive order. Most of the stores had them all printed off and posted on their uh, door fronts. So again, there are a lot of people taking good, solid measures and taking this very serious. And we think that, well, you should as well. I know that we are, and uh, we're trying to do the very best we can to keep business as usual, but at the same token, uh, take things into perspective and know that this is changing our world as we see it today. Um, 
but yeah, maybe now's a great time to learn how to bake bread instead of waiting for it to be on the shelf. Uh, maybe take a little bit of time and hone up a couple of those life skills while we have time and to get supplies. Um, but these were just all things to consider. So uh, don't know how bad it will get and hopefully everything will be just fine. But at the same token, just got to be ready for what good, the good Lord throws at us, right? All right. Well, we'll talk soon. Again, thank you guys. Say a prayer and bless these guys on the road because uh, without them, we may not have any goods getting to those store shelves. All right. Talk soon.